So the map of the month for March 2012 is a bit of a strange one in that it is actually 12 maps. Half-Life Hot Dog's vintage map pack to be exact. Now, reviewing each map in depth would take a long time, so I'm going to run through each one of them in rapid succession and just summarise the five fields I usually work from at the end. The pack comes with a detailed rundown of each map, so if you really want to read up on each of them, then knock yourself out. I am just going to jump right in and review what I see. Also, because of the vintage thing, I'm going to do this entire review like a gentleman. A rude gentleman. A rude gentleman who hates shit maps. So, To Snipe Too Nice feels very much like a learning project. Everything about the map feels like it was added as a test. This is very apparent in the underground section, which just kind of keeps going until you hit a dead end, miles away from the main arena where all the spawn points are. Sure, you get the Egon gun for your troubles, but the trip would just be such a lonely experience it wouldn't sit well in a deathmatch map. Aim June. Another learning type map exploring more new features. It contains more ambitious elements such as destructible pillars, secret areas and detailed prefabs. The map does appear to have a bug though involving the icy area. When you head back up the stairs you still slide around everywhere. It's a strange effect when you're rolling around on poured concrete in this manner. It's like you're fighting your enemies while mounted on a shopping trolley being controlled by a twat. Amazing Duel. Allow me just to share my thought on mazes briefly. I hated them when I was younger, and it seems their only reason for existence is for getting rid of your kids for a while so you can try and enjoy life for a bit. So anyway, here is Amazing Jewel, a map set within a dark maze. Honestly, fuck this map. The only weapon pickup I found was the 357 Magnum. There's also an exterior section which looks so broken it might as well just lead to the void. Apartment. In a rundown neighborhood somewhere in the city of Texture Fox, it's a yellow apartment building. The interior is so yellow and hideous and run down that the residents have decided to off themselves. A fine example of how to do nothing right in a map. Play Half Life Hot Dog's newer map, Apartment X2, instead. That's much better. Welcome to Castle Keep, home of the world's most oversized dining hall a fairly awesome kitchen, and the legendary space crossbow from space. Try not to get lost in our identical stone hallways. Use our unique teleportation towers to play the age-old game OK Where the Fuck Am I Now, and fall into one of our many traps like the freezing shit lake and die a slow, boring death. Gas Station this map is where you truly get an insight into how much Hot Dog has improved throughout the years. A pretty nicely realised petrol station in the middle of a city environment. It does still suffer from some sizing issues here and there, plus that old chestnut the invisible wall. But overall this map is pretty solid. Grave Island, or Grave is Land. Again, the mapping here is pretty good, and there are some interesting interactive elements to it. This looks like the kind of map I would have appreciated more by reading up on it first. For example, I died a couple of times for no apparent reason. Judging by the custom skybox and textures, I can only assume that this is a tribute to some other game, but I can't be sure. Mini Hamster. This map is as basic as it gets. A one-on-one -on -one deathmatch map in a box. However, this box is a tank, and this tank contains a hamster. While the actual architecture is blocky as hell, the theme itself is unique and quirky enough that you overlook it. The one thing I will mention, though, is that the silent statue-like hamster is a little eerie. Old House. This map gives me the blues. That was just fucking dreadful, Irby. Seriously though, how blue can a map be? Everything in this map feels like a step backwards. We're back to rundown buildings and random teleportation fields that lead to what appears to be a dam. Nice to see a use of prop models, although there is something wrong with the greenhouse. 
You. Skull Cave. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that this is a single player map. There is a crowbar pickup, an HEV chamber, and little to no weaponry outside of the cave. The mapping is pretty incredible considering that the skull is brush based. However, there are some nasty clipping glitches around the map which would make playing this map in a competitive deathmatch a little infuriating. Snark Scraper Another unusual little map with basic architecture. It's nice to see a map which focuses on height variation though. Unfortunately, snarks are the most annoying thing in Half-Life Deathmatch, so the concept of this map is lost on me. I do like the little office at the top of the tower though. Finally, we have Xenobox, a map created while necking toilet cleaner. I don't even know where to start with this one. Is it a deathmatch map? Is it single player? Everything in the map is trippy as hell and contains two of my most hated things. Walls you simply pass through and of course a maze. Fuck you Xenobox. So overall the maps in this pack are dated experiments. The architecture for the most part is blockier than Minecraft and the lighting when not experimental is just bland. Ambient sounds are present in most of the maps, which is actually more than I can say for most modern releases, and texturing is pretty nasty throughout, with some nicer examples appearing in the later maps. Gameplay in these maps, however, is not really worth judging. Most of the maps are very easy to get lost in, and some are just single player ports with no deathmatch potential at all. Overall, get the map pack. If you are familiar with Half Life Hot Dog, you will know that he is one of the best mappers in the TWHL community. This little pack has some entertainment value and gives a nice insight into his progress over the years. Another unusual little map with basic mapping. Fucking shit. <laughs>